Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. You sure can be cranky. Not so brave after all. <laughs> oh yeah, now I'm now I'm mean and evil. I'm gonna whip my tail around. Hmm? What's the matter? What's the matter? You being a cranky pot? Alright. Well, look what Bob brought by tonight. These are right out of the oven. I mean, you can't get them much fresher than this. Uh, they were just unwrapped uh, before Bob headed over here, and he's about 20 minutes away. Nine baby broadband copperheads just born today and just hours ago, or hardly, uh, hardly more than that. Uh, these are unrelated uh, to the pair that were born uh, a week or two ago, uh, so that's all very good. Ooh, look at that. Baby grub down. It's cool. Look at that! It's a little buzz tail. It's a little crotalus enyo. Just born at Bob's place. Oh, is that a sticky thing to, to crawl on, huh? Oh, <laughs> we're trying to sidewind on it. Oh, right into the bad stuff. I'm putting it back in his deli cup. Okay, hold on. Ooh, he's showing a little bit. Beautiful little, uh, he's too. Baja rattlesnake. Come here. Bob didn't think uh, these parents were gravid, even though they... They made it uh, all the time, uh, and Bob found this little nipper uh, tonight. And Mom and Dad are back to screwing again, so who knew? Oh, he's so cute. Look at him doing the inchworm thingy. Look at this. The synchronized eating team has been elevated in status. Look at her, she's liking that light. I had to uh, replace a lighting fixture and clean their cage. And a few other uh, things were missing in action, so I, <clears throat> I overhauled their cage. Yeah, I know that's scary. Here we go. Microvapora tyrannica cam. <clears throat> and that's the boy. Hello. You're okay. And the girl is up there on the rocks. You like your new digs? Did you poop yet? Huh? It's usually the first thing that snakes do when they have their cage cleaned is they take a poop. You decided to uh, that you weren't interested in being on camera tonight, huh? Oh, that was foul. That was foul. Naughty snake. He's like, I don't want to come out if there's nothing to eat. 
You still mad at me, huh? I'm sorry we have to wrestle. I'm sorry. Come on. Come on over here. Come on. Aw, don't be a spoiled sport. Your eyes look much better now that you can actually see through them, huh? Come on. Come on. Come on. No? You're not interested? Okay. Alright. I gave you water anyway. Naughty little water cobra. Reason why I say naughty is she decided she was going to uh, roam about the room without permission. Floor wet girl. Do you visit the camera too? Huh? Everybody wants to do Cobra Cam tonight. Everybody wants to be in the camera tonight. Huh? No, you're not climbing on top of it. That's not allowed in this room. It scares the operator. Yes, it does. Hello, yeah. Yeah, you're generally a nice little girl, huh? A little bit of hood. A little bit of hood. Yes, I touched you. I know. Ah, ah, ah. Easy, easy. Put a water dish in with you there, Squirmy. Huh? <laughs> oh, Mr. Brown, you've been waiting patiently over here for your chick. I didn't forget you, bud. Here, have this chick. There you go. Good job. Oh, is that a tasty chick? Is that tasty, huh? Yep. Camera's weirded you out again. Oh, okay. You got over it. Good for you. Oh, look at that. He's a master at eating chicks. Look at that. Oh, he is just so good. There you go. Just come into the snake room and notice that the very rare Hyatt Viper got out of its cage. Here it is, uh, poised uh, for the kill. Oh, you've been hitting the bottle again, huh? You got your tongue out the side of your mouth? What kind of Hyatt Viper are you? Huh? It's a very friendly one. Hmm, the Naja Naja thinks so too. Okay, this is a little trickier to do. Hello? Oh, are you excited? Huh? Are you excited? Oh, she thinks she's got a live one. Look at that. Good for you. Good for you, babe. Who's a, a young Atheris Nitschei? Unfortunately, arrived with a stub tail. Now, most people would not uh, be interested in a stub tailed snake. However, she is just adorable and uh, uh, she's very, uh, I would be very happy to have her uh, live here. So I have no problem with her. I know. I know. Here you go. Want some more water? There you go. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. 
and little Viper Renardi. These guys really have some personality. He's a funny little guy. He likes to drink. He'll come right up to you, show his interest that he's interested in drinking. He is just a nice guy. Of course, he would bite the snot out of me given the chance, either at a feeding response or just for the fun of it, because he is a venomous snake. But he's a nice guy. Look at this. See, folks, this is how you know your snake's getting hydrated. And also, it builds a bond. You know, they're not getting water from some inanimate object. You bring it to them. Don't I? I know. I know. You done? You done? Don't you? No, don't go up there. I don't want you up there. Go down there and eat your mouse. I gave you a mouse already. You already bit it. You already bit it. Yeah. There you go. Good guy. There you go. Your, your throat is all nice and wet, and now you can enjoy your mouse. That's fantastic. We're back at one of the male death adders uh, cage that we uh, changed uh, substrate earlier. And this is classic death adder. Look, he uh, cleared himself, covered his body totally, and there's left a little clearing so he could see. They're clever little animals. Uh, actually, pretty smart. I read that uh, uh, death adders in northern Australia will actually uh, bite a cane toad, let it die. Let it sit there and let all the toxins sort of ooze out and then can safely uh, uh, eat it. And they must have uh, learned this from uh, trial and error. There we go. I didn't disturb him too much by changing his substrate. God, that king toad problem in Australia is just horrific. It's just devastating the wildlife. Again... Man uh, uh, introduced the uh, cane toad and screwed up the ecosystem. You know, man doesn't know enough to leave things alone, and they don't understand the rule of unintended consequences, which usually is put into motion by by people or man. We have a rare appearance by Blondie here. I'm not sure what her motivation is. But we'll see if she wants a drink. We're just cleaning out here. Oh, you just wanted to have a look around. Would you like some water? I'll give you some water. Have some water. Have some water while you're here. And there's foul fang up there. Have a drink. Have a drink. hit the spot right where the tongue comes out and maybe get some water in her mouth and they'll drink. I did have the door open and the ventilation system on uh, so she probably smelled fresh air. Oh, now you're drinking but you're pointing in the wrong direction. There you go. There you go. Come on, pick your head up. I'm going to be a nice drink. But I have to be careful because Fang is eyeing me for a uh, a quick bite before the movie tonight. Huh? How about you? You want a drink of water? <laughs> I'm just pissing her off. Oh dear, he wet my makeup down. Mm. What a drink. It's good for you. It's good for your little kidneys. Alright, well, that was unusual, but not eventful. Okay, here we have my young male death adder. He's a rough death adder. Acanth uh, Acanthophus uh, rugosus. And 
he hasn't been quite right in, since the female bit him. Uh, he's been off feed. He used to be just a fantastic feeder. He used to caudal lure. I see some respiratory. I see a little bit of head movement. But he just really hasn't been uh, the same since then. So we're going to try to coax him to eat. No? Oh, good for you! Good for you! That's so awesome. That will make you feel so much better. That will make you feel so much better. See, guys respond to chicks. If a chick goes wandering by, a guy just has to try to eat her. What can I say? Wow, that's fantastic. Okay, now let's back off so we don't disturb him so he can eat his chick in peace. That's awesome. That made my night. That's fantastic. Look at this guy. He's a trooper. He's on his second one. Aww. That'll make your tummy feel better, huh? That'll make your tummy feel better. You know, he got whacked by the female. Uh, he wasn't interested in feeding, but she was, and uh, he went crawling by, and he became a target. Hasn't been quite right since, and that was like back in June. Uh, you know, normally a good feeder, fantastic caudal luring snake, uh, uh, just a real happy camper. Uh, now I've got him in his new habitat. And uh, I probably won't introduce a female until mm, December, January. So he'll have uh, some bachelor quarters and put on some weight uh, until that time. Hi, Liza. Oh, look at that big belly. Look at that big belly. Liza is gravid. Liza comes from a shelter. She's a rescue, believe it or not. They were going to put her down, puppies and all. And we just couldn't let that happen, could we? Huh? And she's a sweetie. You're a sweetie. Look at you. You like your belly rubbed, huh? You like your belly rubbed. Oh, that's nice, huh? Yeah, we don't know who the daddy is or what breed, but we couldn't let them uh, uh, euthanize such a nice doggy, could we? Huh? Could we? No. Up. Oh. There's Dugan and Fidget. Oh, Dugan's uh, <laughs> got Fidget's toy and game on. Where's it? Oh, he dropped the toy. Oh. Oh, he... Even Liza wants to play. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> Fidget's out of gas. Go, Doogie. Go, Doogie. Oh. Dugan loves to run. Huh, bud? Huh? Good boy. Good boy. Here she is. Here's the